in the process of making a vegan chocolate cake. So these are the ingredients, as you can see. Just keep an order of them as I'm not gonna repeat. This is just the brown sugar, chocolate powder, vanilla extract, agave, and nectar, flour, the coconut cream for the chocolate frosting. And of course, we mix everything in this. It's my first time I'm making the cake. Oh, wow. That's a vegan cake. Umar doesn't know it's a surprise for him. So we need 160 ml of the coconut milk, adding a little bit of four tablespoons of coconut oil into it. Then we have the vinegar and vanilla extract, and then we mix that, and then we move to the next step. There. So we got freshly henna painted on our hands because tomorrow we have um, a mainly event. So this is the organic coconut oil. We're just using four tablespoons of this. Maybe we'll just make it three and a half because it's not melted. Just like a little bit more of it. Just make it a little bit less. That's fine. That's fine. So one tablespoon of vanilla extract goes in. And then we have vinegar, which is also one tablespoon. tablespoon there that's it so just we mix all the ingredients together let's move on to the next step I'm not practically making it I'm taking my cousin's help by the way as she's an expert this shows I'm a first timer by the way. All the ingredients now. So the flour is a hundred grams. Then we have the baking powder. Uh, where is it? The baking powder is we have the brown sugar which is 130 grams, then 100 grams of the plain flour. Then we have the unsweetened four tablespoons of cocoa powder. And then the last not the least, we have the one tablespoon of baking soda. And we're going to mix all of that together. We'll strain it first and then we'll add our coconut milk mixture and then we'll bake it. So we add this. Then we add this. The top. We add the cocoa powder. And then we add the baking <laughs> That is my mama, by the way. So strain it. Which is like, um, yeah. We'll just strain it with that. Mix, 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 mix. Strain, strain. This one is hard. It has kind of like hard chunks in it, but it's okay. I'm just kind of pressing it. Don't mind, guys. I'm not an expert. I'm trying my best. These utensils are not even mine, by the way. I'm borrowing them from my cousin. So I'm gonna give her full credit for this. Okay, so now we're just going to add the entire mixture that we made inside the restraint. First time I'm using this as well, and we, yeah, my cousin needs to help me with this. Perfect. That's just getting mixed up. Wow. Meantime, we're going to prepare everything for the frosting. So now you see how the consistency is changing. We just added three tablespoons more of flour because my cousin kind of suggested me that. Um, as she knows more, so I'm just going by whatever she says. Um, but look how, um, but by the way, it smells amazing. Look at the consistency. We don't have a lot of light here, don't mind guys. 
but now you can definitely see oh my god i added two more tablespoons so all together we just added five tablespoons more of flour just to see how just to make it more thick now but uh, because it looked kind of runny so while it gets mixed of course again we're going to prepare the frosting which will require whatever i'll just show you we're just gonna pour the entire thing in the container yes i'm very cheap and i love it I'm using the art container for my husband because he doesn't know that I'm baking a vegan cake for him. So we have preheated the oven as well. The channel tell me exactly how much. Let me just quickly pour the entire thing inside. That this will go in the oven yeah. so we have preheated the oven on 180 degrees that's which is the standard by the way and the cake just goes in and let's just prepare the frosting so now we prepared the frosting so we're going to use a gaff syrup which is like five tablespoons so let's create one two three four Five. Five. I think I'm just probably going to go over half on, on the top because I'm always stuck. Then we have a um, vanilla, uh, coconut oil, three tablespoons, which I'm going to quickly use this. So one, and I'm just using two. Why? Because it's, uh, it's not melted. Then we have the coca powder, which is unsweetened, and that is again four tablespoons. My mommy is gonna make a stuff. Pause. Spoons. So one, two, three, and four. So it's done with that. There's a little fountain yeah, on top. Yeah, then one tablespoon of vanilla. Which I'm just quickly going to use that. There. That's There's one. a fountain over yeah, there. Yeah, instead, usually you can use avocado as well, which is like one ripe avocado, but instead we're using the coconut cream. And I think we're going to use one, two, three, four, five, and six tablespoons, which is like I'm just doing it on my own. So let's see how it goes, by the way. It's so creamy. That's my baby. Mommy. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's right for the cake. Is that the chocolate topping? Mm -hmm. You can see it's a little bit runny, so I think we need to make it a little bit thick. Pause. Now we're going to just take it out. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Perfect heart shape. Yay, love it. Yeah. Okay, so we, now you see the cake is ready and we're going to start doing the frosting. Try the icing in the end if it's something is left. Are you doing everything for my dad's birthday? Yes. Why? Because we were not there to celebrate it. Can I try the icing? We will try the icing in the end. Okay? After that is done, mm -hmm. the cake 
so yummy. I'm going to clean that part. Like I said, I'm going to expose Is Daddy having the heart cake? Mm -hmm. Is that the one that Daddy will have? Mm -hmm. Is that the does it need a top layer? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> no, he doesn't need a top layer. Why? Um, cakes need top layers. Is the cake done? Oh, this guy. Why don't you wash your tools right now? So I've got some fruits here. I'm just gonna add them around the border. Just a little bit. Very, very nicely so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like mangoes, grapes, and apricot. And I kind of put them around and if they're dripping, let them drip, it's okay. The more the better. Uh, I'm just going to keep them around the border. Okay, I said don't worry about the dripping. Then I'm going to put them around as well. Now this is my serving platter. Okay, now I'm just going to start putting them around it. Just remember guys, this is a vegan cake. That's why it's so different from how you make the normal cake. So please don't expect it to be as neat with all the fondant and everything. It's more of like the natural ingredients. And no milk, no eggs. And like I said, I'm, I'm not an expert, that's why I'm, I don't want to be perfect. I want it to be, I want it to look like my first cake. And I think it's pretty much done, just add one more, I'll leave it on this side. And here on the top, where we see some spaces, space, and here. My cousin is directing me, of course, I thank her that she helped me out because, and by the way, she was shocked because I did not know whatever to do, but I literally had no clue about it. So, that's me. And I'm just now literally filling the space in here. What do you think? Yeah? I believe I did that, of course, with help. To you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Omar. Happy birthday to you. I made a vegan cake for you. What? Yes. I have a saying you made a vegan cake. Le. <laughs> <laughs> what a flop! <laughs> okay.